Have you ever pondered over what shaped the life of one of history's most significant figures, Julius Caesar? Born in the heart of Rome in 100 BC, Julius Caesar was the scion of a well-connected patrician family, tracing their lineage back to the origins of Rome itself. His life took a dramatic turn when his father passed away unexpectedly, leaving a young Caesar to navigate the turbulent waters of Roman politics. Young Caesar's marriage to Cornelia, the daughter of an influential politician, further entrenched him in the political sphere. This alliance not only provided Caesar with a political foothold, but also shaped his staunch beliefs in populism, which would later define his political career. With the early loss of his father and his strategic marriage, Caesar was thrust into the political arena at an early age. These formative experiences helped mold the ambitious and astute leader we know today. The seeds of ambition were sown early in Caesar's life, setting the stage for his ascent to power. How did Julius Caesar, a young Roman noble, climb the ladder of power to become one of the most influential leaders in history? Well, let's delve into this intriguing journey. Julius Caesar began his ascent to power as a military tribune, a position that allowed him to gain first-hand experience in the workings of politics and warfare. Yet it was in the religious sector that Caesar first found significant power. He was elected as the High Priest of Jupiter, a role traditionally reserved for patrician nobility. This position not only elevated his status in society, but also provided him with a substantial income and a degree of political immunity. But Caesar was far from content. His ambition led him to form an unofficial political alliance known as the First Triumvirate. This alliance with Pompey, a respected military general, and Crassus, the wealthiest man in Rome, was a masterstroke. It was a power play that balanced wealth, military might, and political influence, propelling Caesar further up the Roman hierarchy. With the backing of the Triumvirate, Caesar secured the governorship of Gaul, a vast region stretching from the Mediterranean Sea to the English Channel. This position gave him control over one of Rome's most significant military forces and the opportunity to expand Roman territories. Under Caesar's leadership, Rome conquered Gaul, bringing vast wealth and prestige back to the city. His military victories, particularly the famed Battle of Elysia, showcased his strategic genius and solidified his reputation as a formidable leader. But it was not just Caesar's military victories that made him stand out. His ability to win the hearts and minds of his soldiers and the Roman populace played a crucial role in his rise. He was a charismatic leader who knew the power of public opinion and used it to his advantage. Caesar's strategic alliances and military prowess catapulted him to the pinnacle of Roman politics. Yet his journey was far from over. The higher Caesar climbed, the more enemies he made. And it was these enemies who would ultimately lead to his downfall. But that's a story for another scene. What impact did Julius Caesar's reign have on Rome and the wider world? The story of Julius Caesar's reign is a narrative of power, ambition and significant reform. After a triumphant return from Gaul, Caesar's popularity soared. He was hailed as a hero, a conqueror and a leader. This public adoration coupled with a sharp political acumen paved the way for his appointment as the perpetual dictator of Rome. As the perpetual dictator, Caesar's power was unassailable. His word was law, his decisions unchallenged. But rather than resting on his laurels, Caesar used his authority to enact sweeping changes across Rome. He was a forward thinker, a reformer with an eye for progress. One of his most significant reforms was the introduction of the Julian calendar, a marvel of its time. This solar-based calendar was more accurate than its lunar predecessor, aligning the Roman year with the Earth's seasons. It was a testament to Caesar's vision, a vision that was not just about wielding power, but also about improving the lives of his people. Caesar also expanded the Roman Senate, incorporating representatives from provinces across the Roman Empire. This move was not just about consolidating power, but about fostering a sense of unity and inclusivity. It was a bold statement that Rome was not just a city, but an empire, and its governance should reflect this. But Caesar's reign was not just about political and social reforms. He was also a patron of arts and architecture. He commissioned public works and buildings, fostering a cultural renaissance that would leave a lasting impact on Rome's identity. Caesar's reign, although brief, left an indelible mark on Rome and the world beyond. His reforms reshaped Roman society, his governance model set a precedent for future emperors, and his patronage of arts and architecture contributed to Rome's cultural legacy. His reign, in many ways, sowed the seeds for what Rome would become. A beacon of civilization, 
and a symbol of imperial might. How did the reign of the mighty Julius Caesar come to a tragic end? As Caesar's power grew, so did the resentment among the senators. They viewed him as a threat to the Republic, a dictator who held too much sway. The once allies of Caesar turned into his biggest adversaries as they feared the return of a monarchy. Among these senators, Brutus and Cassius began to lead a conspiracy. Brutus, a man whom Caesar considered a friend, was torn between his loyalty to Caesar and his commitment to Rome. Cassius, on the other hand, was a seasoned politician who saw Caesar's rise to power as a direct threat to the Senate's authority. The conspirators saw their opportunity on the Ides of March, a date we now associate with doom thanks to Shakespeare. On that fateful day, they struck Caesar at the Senate. The mighty ruler fell, betrayed by those he trusted. Et tu, Brut? You too, Brutus, he supposedly uttered as he saw Brutus among his assassins. The immediate aftermath was chaos. The conspirators had hoped that Caesar's death would restore the Republic, but instead it plunged Rome into a civil war. The populace was divided, the Senate was weakened, and the stage was set for the rise of the Roman Empire. The life of Julius Caesar, an epitome of ambition and power, met a tragic end, but his legacy continues to reverberate through history. How do we summarize the life of the legendary Julius Caesar? From humble beginnings, he climbed the ladder of power, ultimately reigning over Rome with unprecedented authority. His reforms were revolutionary, changing the face of the empire. Yet his ambition led to a tragic downfall, a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of power. Julius Caesar's life was a testament to ambition, power and the inevitable fall. He transformed Rome and left a legacy that continues to impact our world today.